guys and welcome back or to the channel today I'm honestly running up to AutoZone right now we're gonna get some map sensor cleaner for our Chevy I got these the other day in the mail um, I got a spark plug gap tool and I got feeler gauges for not spark plugs but um, well at AutoZone don't have my wallet and all I got is ten dollars in the center console eleven this was supposed to be my emergency like toll booth money <sighs> hopefully it's less than ten bucks because we won't get too far. All right, guys, literally got out of AutoZone with the mass airflow sensor cleaner. Um, oh, boy. Didn't even use the cash because I had Katie send me my uh, stuff and I hooked up my credit card to Apple Pay. And wow, is that thing neat? Just like use your phone to pay? I never have like, I did that once in my life and like that was like four years ago. Now, that was super neat and fun. I'm gonna probably do that forever. Now, I'm gonna do a quick update here on our Ram before we get into our Chevy, knock that stuff out. Wheels for the Hellcat just got word on those. They landed in California and they should ship very soon and we'll get them almost. Maybe the end of this week or early next week and we can get those 315s mounted and those tires swapped over. As for our Ram here, this steering up front, I told you guys we got Synergy Manufacturing. We got new steering coming for this Ram. Obviously, you know our pro to fail your drag link with the recall um, out there for this bottom nut coming loose. Pretty much my steering feels a little loose. I honestly feel like this ball joint up here has gone through its paces of being at such a steep angle and um, pushing and turning these 40 inch tires all day long. So I've got a new drag link coming from Synergy Manufacturing and I also have a new tie rod from Synergy Manufacturing coming. Now I hope that the new tie rod will allow us to use this dual steering stabilizer mount because right now it kind of comes out and like gets us Done. I think the new one might be straight across so we're gonna see what we can do see how we can mount the new bracket or what have you we'll have to figure that out worst comes to worst we can do some I guess modification to this bracket and my like repowder coated or something worst comes to worst but we'll figure that out when that time comes it'll stiffen up our steering a whole lot and that should be landing here Monday as well. New wheels for the Hellcat are coming. Steering for this is on its way. Compounds are being like the kit is being made. They told me 10 business days probably about a week and a half ago so um those compounds should be coming soon as well. Thinking of this in the drive back with those compounds I need to get some ARP head studs for this so I'm gonna have to get those done and knocked out as well because we're gonna have some lift and heads with uh, two turbos and uh, a lot of boost coming out of this motor. So uh, definitely gonna need some ARP head studs in there as well. And I think when I do that, I'm just gonna blatantly go to Home Depot and build me a platform to stand on so I'm not leaning over this hood all day long. So I feel like this could be the root of our problem. One of them, either this or the uh, spark plugs are gapped wrong and the air to fuel ratio is all messed up. Uh, when I did this air intake, I did the headers, I did uh, the spark plug wires, I did the spark plugs, um, all of that. And when I did that, before I put the air intake back on, this was just kind of sitting over here on our um, overflow, overflow tank forever. So I feel like this is just quite dirty. Um, it's also got 160,000 on it. Probably hasn't been cleaned considering our throttle body was also dirty. So I'm going to sit here. I'm going to take this apart real quick, clean our sensor. That may or may not help. Worst comes to worst. We will also get in there and check the gaps on our plugs. Okay, so I just filmed that whole clip and uh, didn't hit record, but we have our map sensor out slightly. I don't even know if this is dirty or not, but we will clean it. I'm going to get this um, all set up. We'll spray it down. It doesn't look extremely like filthy, so spray 10 to 15 sprays onto hot wires. Nine, 10. Um, the way that looked, I don't think that was our issue. Spark plugs, obviously there's eight of them for each side. We'll take one out, check the gap on it. Uh, kind of see where we're at. Should be super simple. Um, they're fresh install, so not gonna give us any trouble coming out. Sensor back in, connected it all back up, got our clip on. Um, I'm gonna run this real quick, see where we're at. Honestly, I seriously don't think that that's gonna fix it, but it is clean now, so it may help just a bit. Let me sit there and clear it with the bank's tool first. See, system two lean, bank one, and this one says random multiple cylinder misfire. So um, I'm gonna 
think spark plugs might be off or whatever. That was the other one, but let's clear these. Just down here, I mean, it smells a whole lot like less rich. It's running just a bit better. So that seems to help just a little bit. I mean, obviously it's not gonna be an instant thing. Probably have to drive it around a little bit. Um, but I'm gonna check the plugs. I'm gonna check one side, see where we're at. Honestly, hopefully adjusting those and we'll get our stuff all straightened out. So this side of the motor's a little more tight, uh, still accessible, but it's probably gonna run off this side to begin. There, okay. Got the one. When I did this last time, this wasn't here, so you guys could almost see what everything, like see everything going on. So I apologize for the uh, visual hindrance this time. <clears throat> All right, so we got our plug out and we will check the gap on this guy here. Mm. So this plug, when I first took it out, it gapped about right here. So the factory, there's so many weird things going on with this motor. It's like an endless thing, like the iridium plugs versus the platinum plugs. I just don't know because the internet's all crazy with these spark plugs on this truck is apparently a freaking, I don't know if there's like 25 forums on what spark plugs to use, what gaps. It must be some kind of common like situation. So I guess I'll go plug for plug here. Try and get everything all fixed up. The gap on this one, guys. Here, let's see what we got going. Slide up. It stops about here at point three seven I'm gonna gap it out a little bit just a hair all right so now we got a gap to just over 0.4 like I said it gets tight right about here so I'm about three plugs in all of them have been slightly under gapped so that could be our like problem at like the idle and it reading the misfire code. Um, I'm gonna run through the rest of these, do the same process, take them all up to a 4.0 gap and see what we do. Honestly, if for some reason this motor wants them to run at 0.60, um, then we're extremely under gapped. So I don't wanna do this twice, twice so hopefully bumping them up uh, to four is our solution because I know there's a huge thing of where Chevy like the 2004 ish and up they changed it from 0.6 to 0.4 let's see here honestly I'm hoping the 0.4 works worst comes to worst we bump it up to 0.6 because the forums seem to be all over the place but under gapped will give us these symptoms at idle so I'm gonna run through these fix them and uh, we'll check idle in a second here so now we got a clean sensor Gapped spark plugs. Cross your fingers. I'm gonna let it idle for a little bit, let it warm up. Our friend came back on. As you can see, the needle doesn't really move. Yeah, that needle's slightly jumping. I just don't know. Misfire, I don't know if I need to run these at 0.6. I don't know. I almost would be interested to get these at 0.6. I mean, it's driving fine. I mean, it drives great, honestly. It idles decently. They bump these to 0.6, not sure. The, the information all over the internet is so far, like, all over the place. Yeah, she's driving not bad. Not bad at all, actually. It is an enjoyable ride. Just want to get this thing figured out so when everything's done and said and done, we'll be okay. I need to, like, really... I need to get this thing on the open road almost and let her rip. There's literally no front bumper and there's no grill on this truck. This is great. My neighbors probably have to think I'm freaking nuts. <laughs> After driving it hot, here we go pulling in the drive. This thing is so bizarre. I don't know if, hmm. Huh, that's so weird. One thing I'm super tired of is the oil freaking or the axle nut cap in here so i'm honestly gonna zip this off real quick get that out of there because i'm just done with that ah finally yeah that's not going back in there so yeah, this thing was ro rolling around in there making a lot of excessive noise. It just doesn't even go back in there. I feel like this is the completely wrong axle nut like cap. This just like slid in and out even though it's slightly, it's not even dented around like the like exterior ring. I feel like that's not even the right one. Whatever. Uh, guys, I may try a 0.6 gap on this. It's just almost stress, like stressful. Like I, I don't, I wish I still had the 
original plugs. There's like a slight hesitation. I mean, it's better, trust me, it's better, but I might sit there and run out, try and bump them up to 0.6, honestly. But like when I was just like quickly switching gears up there on the road, it was like, I, I honestly felt like it was gonna stall, so. The forums are just nuts. And me looking up, while I was looking up forums, I got good news. Uh, my Hellcat wheels will be here tomorrow. Motor for our power washer build should be here tomorrow. And some other stuff as well. What I'm gonna do, I, I'm sorry, I haven't get to my horns or anything today, but I'm gonna re-gap those, all the plugs, tomorrow. It's gonna be like 40 degrees, which sucks. Ohio weather is just driving me nuts right now because I really need the good weather. I'm gonna re-gap all of them to 0 0.6, I think. Honestly, Iridium plugs came out of there. I don't know if I should just reorder a set or not. I'm really like confused here. I'm getting like mind blown. So we'll get back out here in the morning, work on it. Honestly, I'm gonna have to like work in here tomorrow. It's gonna be too darn cold. <sighs> <sighs> So guys, another day, same project. We got the Silverado in the garage here. Honestly, gonna switch and uh, gap the plugs up again, just super fast, and um, see if that solves our issue. This time, we're gonna gap it up to 0.60. Obviously, look at that. Okay, those rear spark plugs like give me a time and a half to get to, but we got them all regapped to 0 0.06. Let's go. I'm gonna scan it real quick. I think the computer needs a minute to run through and like relearn after changing the spark. So I'm gonna uh, kind of see what we're doing. Bank to lean, okay. So misfire wasn't a code this time. It was just bank to lean. Okay, so let's clear those. She does feel a little bit more like how when I picked her up. So I'm gonna go for a spin actually, put it in drive, see how this truck handles. Can I ask anybody a question? What is with people walking, playing, walking their dogs just like in the street? And like the other day there's little kids just playing in the street. Is this like making people go nuts or something? Because I'm like, I was never taught as a kid to go play in the street or walk in the street or take animals for a walk in the street. And now I just see everyone doing it. So I really don't understand. But I'm gonna go for a quick little spin here. I think we're gonna be doing a whole lot better, to be honest. Oh, she's driving super nice. I do feel kind of accomplished here. So far, so good. Okay, she's playing, she's playing. All right, I'm gonna come to a stop after getting high RPMs. Okay, turning back, that was literally just an officer. Like, he just pulled up, and I was like, oh, there's no front bumper, no plate, no nothing. So that's kind of interesting. Didn't really care much. All right, gonna give it a little one and two here. Also really satisfied that our, like, clinking and clanking from the little uh, <laughs> dust cap on our axle nut is gone, so that's good. Yeah. She's doing great. Okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do now, honestly, I'm going to retune this truck. Economy would also be great, but kinda wanna give it a little more horsepower right now. Um, <sighs> Just kinda bump the pressure on that first shift, seeing what I can do. Honestly, it feels like fall out here. It got real cold today, even though it's springtime, but tune is finishing up, is now installed. Okay. It'll probably idle a little rough to begin, so it relearns the air to fuel ratio. I can tell you it's more preppy already while driving. It just is. That feels great, actually. Wow, that mo, wow. <laughs> 
that feels incredible. So the first shift was so like, so much smoother. Didn't really hold out at all. In this little cul-de-sac here, gonna come to a slow turn. Slow turn, see how she does. And brake. That's almost a better idle than when I started <laughs> with the non-tuned. Wow, that first shift is great again. Gonna turn here. <laughs> I love it. I'm like, there's no license plates on this. This thing is not. <laughs> Good morning. And look at that paint job. That is a absolutely stunning, stunning color. So I guess the, the uh, age old question of what gap should you use for your spark plugs on these 5.3 Vortec motors? If you're using platinum plugs, a 0.6 gap is what you want. If you're using the Iridium plugs, it looks like Chevy wants you to use a 0.4 gap and that's what the whole post and bulletin was back then. They switched from platinum to Iridium and now the gap was different. But if you're still using platinum plugs or you replace your plugs with platinum plugs, use the 0.6 gap because your truck will be more happy. I could tell you that just all around. She drives so much better now just with that. Um, and she, she idles happy. She sounds happy. Before guys, this hood was like literally like vibrating. You could see it. It was that aggressive. Exhaust 100% smells definitely not as rich. Even from untuned to tune, this burns a whole lot better. 0.6 seems to be your winner for platinum plugs. Iridium, 0.4, and um, there you have it. Okay, so in here, now we, what is this? And why is this in a priority mail envelope? Awesome, stickers. But here we have our um, oval muffler. Um, mid muffler delete kit uh like i said because on the oval muffler it enters on like the left and exits on the right these are going to line up perfectly for our hellcat exhaust our <clears throat> synergy manufacturing drag link and tie rod should be here monday uh, for our ram but uh, we have our steering stabilizer brackets here uh, at the moment i may see if i can sit there and powder coat these illusion purple not sure yet here is our predator 212 cc overhead valve horizontal shaft motor for our power washer this motor here cost me 99 dollars and we are going to make a bad ass power washer with it. So guys, I'm gonna be showing you how to take a free power washer, put a hundred bucks into it or so, I might have to get a new hose and have a working three, four, five, six hundred dollar power washer for little to no work and time for that matter. And you could resell it, take that money, put it towards something you've always wanted like a quad or like a project truck or something, or just have your car payments paid every month by doing, you know, fixing, trading, doing stuff daily and just making some extra money. But we're gonna be doing the power washer build. We're gonna be doing this Hellcat. My wheels are shipped. Uh, they should be here very soon. I just gotta find a place to uh, mount them if I can't wait till May, I guess May 1st when all this stuff kind of ends. Truck, I guess that has been probably idling for an hour or so now. So it's running great. That's awesome. No check engine lights, no nothing. Gonna be taking care of the paintwork on this guy. Just so much more. So if you guys have been here before, please get down there, click subscribe. Uh, take care. I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully we'll get some warmth here as the sun comes out. And um, I will see you guys very soon.